We need to deal with this troll trouble. We're receiving alarming news from every corner of this vast barony, here, there, and everywhere. Rampant hordes of trolls are wreaking havoc. The desperate people cry out for a protector, begging us to come and fend off these ravaging monsters. Of course, it's the sacred duty of the Sovereign to locate the hiding places of these foul foes and give them bloody hell. Um, so we pretty much know... Uh, somewhere in this region there's an ancient abandoned dwarven fortress. Could it be the dwelling of our foes? We think that's where the trolls are at this moment. I don't remember why. I think it's because... Uh, the guy, the strange hermit mage, uh, Bartholomew, that was his name. Bartholomew, as is with his dying breath, he pointed to the dwarven fortress as the, the source of the trolls. I think that's why I think they're there. So, basically all roads are leading to the dwarven fortress right now. Uh, the renowned explorer... Though the outlaws have been vanquished and a rightful government has been established in the Stolen Lands, travelers should keep their eyes peeled. These places are still chock full of danger. Um, we encountered a gnome who turned out to be a celebrity who is looking for an ancient outpost, which I believe is the Dwarven Ruins. Uh, we have a quest to find... The wizard Bartholomew's whip. A whip with a bone handle, which is going to be at the Dwarven Ruins. We have a score to settle for Akundeo. Akundeya. Akundi. Whatever. I can't remember his full name. <laughs> for Ekin. Um, he wants revenge on the trolls, which is going to be at the Dwarven Ruins. So we have four quests, essentially. And also, a companion quest, Unwanted Legacy, Harem wants to see the Dwarven Ruins. So, everything is pointing us to the Dwarven Ruins right now. So, let's go to there. I must gather my party before I go forth. Akundeo. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that or not. Hey, did we ever ask him questions? He was going to tell us stuff when we got back to the capital. Forgive me, friend. My thoughts are on Kargad right now. All right. We'll talk later. That's right. He wasn't going to tell us anything until after we dealt with Kargad. The troll mastermind Kargad. Welp. Let's set off. Oh, let's rest first. Then we will set off. Oh, I just noticed that Tristian is ready to level up, too. Hmm. I'm going to try an experiment and take my heaviest damage dealers and leave Valerie behind and hope that I can use Amiri and Regengar as my tanking duo. Uh, we failed to sneak past a random encounter so we gotta prepare for battle. Who's disturbing my travel? What are these things? Um, Amiri charges. Not a great hit. All right, let's just go for the AI combat. What are these things? Oh, they're slurks. Yeah, we can deal with these guys. The AI can handle this. <laughs> Two down, three down, four down, barely, oh my god, everybody's leveled up now.
Well, that's... That's great. Except now I have to spend the next 45 minutes leveling up every character. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. Well, it only took about 20 minutes to level up my party here. I was not able to level up everybody. I'll have to go back to town for that later. For now, we can camp so, so that we can memorize all the new spells that we just learned. From getting to level 7. Uh, let's see, who wants to cook? Nobody is good at cooking. Is anybody good at cooking? No, <laughs> I'm the only one that can cook. Uh, Amiri can do watching. Ragengar is back to his special role of intimidating posture. He always does that. Why do you always think about death? <laughs> Ekin, Ekin. How can I answer this question? I'm more surprised that none of you think about it much at all. <laughs> I love thinking about Grotus all the time. We did it. Now we move on. Tread lightly. Finally, back to the trail. The question is, do we go west or southwest? Let's just go west. Oh, it's going to take us directly to the Dwarven Ruins. Now we'll head south. Hmm, southeast? Ah, now we'll head west, directly into the ruins. I will enter the Dwarven Ruins at last. The confrontation that we have been waiting for... for... a long time. The game was auto-saved. Let's turn on turn-based. Oh wow, we're getting all kinds of stuff done. We found the Dwarven outpost. Maybe it would be a nice idea to bring Jubilost here. The sight might lift his spirits. Uh, how do we do that? Where is Jubilost? How do I, uh, do that? We've located the Troll Lair. Now we're ready to destroy this bed of evil once and for all. To root them out mercilessly with all of our might. Destroy the Troll Lair. And also, Harem is here. Time to kill some trolls. There's one now. Hail Borba. The troll who stands before you looks different from his kin. His pelt is cleaner, and his stench is almost bearable, unlike the other trolls. Noticing you, he turns and slowly steps toward you. Hail Borba. The troll's voice is rough and gravelly. Welcome to Trobold. An abandoned dwarven keep where two races, trolls and kobolds, settled together, attempting to create their own kingdom. Such an unlikely union could have been created only by a true genius, at least by kobold standards. So this troll's name is Jazon. Jazon. I'll call him Jazzy. Not here to talk. Arrows will speak in my stead. Calm down, Akundio. 
Jazzy grins widely, revealing a row of long, rotten, and chipped teeth, but there's no menace in it. Who are you? Jazon! The troll pounds his chest, making a hollow thud. I had different name before. Now, Jazon! Like Borba! Like Borba! I like the Borba! He thrusts out his chest, and a dribble of drool from his mouth promptly lands there. Me talk like Borba! Wash myself like Borba! And no eat Borba! Me is like Borba myself! Um, your common is impressive. Yes, the troll agrees. Tartuk speaks like that. Taught me Borba language. Told I am smart. The troll proceeds to scratch his armpit, then sniff his fingers. So, uh, what do you mean by Borba? Is that what we are? We are the Borba? You are Borba! The troll hesitates. Human, elf, dwarf, all Borba. All right, that's what I thought. So what is this place, Trobald? Trobold, that you're talking about? Why have you renamed it? Ours capital! The troll exclaims, waving his hand toward the rock. Kingdom of both troll and kobold. We live there now, in peace with Borba. Ours land. Hmm, well that might be a problem. Really, a kingdom? Regengar whistles in surprise. I'd certainly like to see what kind of kingdom they... Kobold together. <laughs> they kobold together. They, you know, like cobbled together. What kind of kingdom they kobold together? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> kobold together? <laughs> A pun. Jazon, understand. Well, it looks like the trolls have a sense of humor, though for some reason they seem to shy away from fiery or caustic humor. Well, no, I should say, congratulations, Regengar, you finally found someone who actually laughs at your jokes. You found your audience. Regengar sneers, pleased. Who knows, the history of troll comedy might start with that pun. Alright, what do you want from me, Jazzy? The troll makes a strange growl. You're about to draw your weapons when it becomes evident that he was simply clearing his throat. I meet Borba and tell them. King Hargulka and King Tartuk ask that Borba stay away from Trobold. It filthy, not pretty, and dangerous. We invite Borba later, when kings allow. Um... Um, tell me more about Trobold. First city for both co Troll and Kobold will be Kingdom. Troll and Kobold and Borba will do friendship. Troll no eat Borba anymore, and Borba no kill Troll and Kobold anymore. Peace! A bitter smile appears on Harem's face. A proud citadel of dwarves turned into a lair for Trolls and Kobolds. Would it be possible to humiliate Turog any further? Um, who is Hargulka, Jazzy? King over all trolls, strong, smart, ki kind. The troll stutters slightly and pauses for a moment. Made all trolls together, made kingdom like Borba. Made, wait. Did it... Wait, alright, Jazzy. Are you saying that they made the kingdom in the same manner in which Borba made kingdoms? Or are you saying that they made the kingdom and they also like Borba? I don't understand your sentence construction, Jazzy. Well, tell me about Tartuk. I think I know who it is. We've had run-ins before. 
King over all kobolds is Tartuk, strong and smart, kind. The troll chews on his tongue momentarily. Fire kills troll before. Tartuk protects troll from fire. Now trolls forever love Tartuk and his kobolds. Oh, so it's Tartuk that's doing that. I see. How dare he interfere with the scientific community? How does Tartuk protect trolls from fire? Jazon's eyes widen and he shifts back a bit. Drabakurga. Iron red and hot. Heat. Trolls scream and scream and scream. Gadunga Yuga Borba. Pain. He flails his hands in the air. Then quiet. No more pain. Fire no danger anymore. Troll no die from fire no more. You understand, Borba? Troll no more die at all. Fire is no death. Steel is no death. Tartuk make troll immortal. Well, what about acid? Did you think about acid? So, um... So the trolls aren't eating people anymore? That's the main reason I'm here, to stop you from eating people. Me no eat Borba no more, Jazon claims proudly. King Harguka and King Tartuk order so. Other trolls still eat Borba. They wild and dumb. Soon they stop. So, uh, what do you eat now? Horse, cow, dog. Jazon scratches his belly. Dead Borba too sometimes. Long dead. Before Harguka's order. No need to waste food. Wait, so you still eat human flesh? The troll stares at you for a moment. Me eat, he confesses, slumping a little. But me no kill Borba. Never again kill Borba. Are you sure you won't change your mind as soon as you run out of people in your larder? You might get hungry again. The troll's eyes flash. Borba no get it. Borba no food. Harguka said so. Borba tried to get me angry on purpose. Jazzy's word become a growl. Words become a growl. His <laughs> Jazzy's words become a growl. Then he calms himself. Borba, friend. He nods, then goes silent. Oh, uh, sorry about that. All right, that's enough about food. Tell me more about Trobold. First city for both Troll and Kobold will be Kingdom. Troll and Kobold and Borba will do friendship. Troll no eat Borba anymore, and Borba no kill Troll and Kobold anymore. Peace! I said that before. Um, anything else you can tell me about, uh, Trobold? Many Troll, many Kobold. Live together, learn Borba speech, paint walls. Tartuk protects Trolls from fire. Jazan's lips move silently, and he, and he looks into the distance for a moment. Uh, uh, troll fire... Uh, uh, plenty food, too. Plenty loot. Troll and Kobold share. Jazan looks, in you, looks you in the eyes. Many trolls wild. Eat Borba. They will stop soon. Peace will be. Alright, I've heard enough about Trobold. Jazon stares at you, his hung, his his hung tangling out, his tongue dangling out. Well, um, we just want to look around. We're uh, not here to fight this time. And Mary looks at you with confusion. What? W what do you mean we're not here to fight? Akundio takes a breath as if to speak, then spits on the ground instead. Jazon scratches the back of his head, making a loud cracking sound. Borba better not go. Troll's still wild and dumb. Much danger. Jazzy sighs, a sound you've never heard from a troll, and stomps away. <sighs> thump, thump, thump. See how easy that was, everyone? 
as the Baron. Oops. Well, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. The trolls have a leader named Hargulka. I bet he's the fattest and ugliest of them all. Oh, Lindsay. Trolls and kobolds are wild creatures. Not much smarter than animals, if you ask me. T to call them barbarians would be flattery, but ours are strangely organized. It seems they're trying to build their own kingdom. Now I've heard it all. Lindsay. You have a, a problem with trolls? Um... We found the ancient Dwarven Fortress, although it won't be easy to take a proper look. The trolls have taken up res residence inside. So we can't show the ruins to Harem yet. So, um... So what does all this mean, exactly? Um, so there's a kobold skirmisher who uh, seems like they're going to attack us. All right, everyone, what do you think? Should we attack or should we, should we stand down? I know at least two of you would like us to attack. Amiri, of course, always wants us to attack. Pretty much her standard be fun to be had. Standard operating procedure for for him. Wait, did I, I? I thought one of these What's taking so long. I thought one of these folks had a um I yearn for entertainment. Ah. All right, here we go. Time for fun. Hello, kobolds. Oh, there's more. Oh, damn! Critical sneak attack. Oh, okay, interesting. So I was trying to switch out of. I thought I was switching out of turn-based, but I think I just switched into turn-based. Alright, well, let's see. There's a bunch of them. Cobalt Sniper, a Boomsayer, a Skirmisher, and an Alchemist Master. Hmm. Wow, I have literally nothing on my belt to throw. That's great. How many of these can I move in a in a turn? Why is Harwell at the front here? It's not a great place for him to be. He's going to move back. We should all kind of spread out actually because of the alchemy problem over there. Here comes another cobalt sniper. <clears throat> Ooh, hits Harem, I mean Harwell, with another sneak attack. Okay, Amiri is going to do Rage. And, um, Charge. Oh, she can get all the way to that Cobalt Alchemist Master. Charging. Oh, but she missed. Bad swing. Oh, the boomsayer tried to cast hideous laughter on Amiri, but she made her save. Wow, they're hitting a lot. They're hitting quite frequently, I see. Akundio is going to... Um, he's going to fire three shots on the Cobalt Skirmisher. I grant you death. <laughs> First attack hits, second attack hits, third attack hits, and kills the skirmisher. All right. Good deal. He's going to move a little bit to the side. Dog charges at a sniper. He can't get there, though. 
dog looks really big for some reason. He's gonna ch go over here to this sniper on the side. Why is he so big? Has he been, like, <laughs> enlarged or something? <laughs> oh, the alchemist master just drank a constitution mutagen. Okay, Harwell is gonna use this new spell that he's got. If I can find it. Wait, maybe it was Harwell that had the new spell. I think it was Harwell that had the new spell. Uh, Harem's just gonna cast Bless. Regengar is going to see if he can uh, step slightly to the side. Oh, no, he can't charge now. Well, that stinks. He's going to move closer. And then he's going to cast a Molten... Um, no, he's just going to cast a Magic Missile on a Boomsayer. Hits! Minimal damage, though. Well, it's about half dead, so that didn't, that worked pretty well. Kenara. Uh, burning Infusion. Blue Flame Blast, I think is what she's going to do. On the Cobalt Boomsayer. If she can get to it. I kind of want to stay spread out. So I'm going to move over here. And then attempt a blue flame on the boom sayer. I don't think I can reach it though. Oh, I don't think I can attack anybody. Oh no! I chose poorly. What about... Um, what about just a fire blast? Can I get anybody with a fire blast? I think I get that boomsayer. To my fury. No, I can't. No. Going to hurt. All right. Well, she's just gonna move over this way. Yeah! Oh, harem takes two arrows in the chest. Minimal damage. Harwell is going to move up just slightly and attack the Boomsayer. Actually, no, he's going to throw... He's going to do a targeted bomb admixture. And now he can't do an action. Okay. Never mind. I guess I'll have to wait till his next turn. Oh, somebody's shooting at Harwell, but they missed. Amiri now has two strikes on the Cobalt Alchemist Master. First one hits for 24 damage. The second one misses. Uh, it seems to be about half dead. Awesome. Ooh. Kenara got hit by a thunder call. Amiri got hit by a couple of arrows. Akundio is going to shoot at uh, the Cobalt Skirmisher in the back. Three shots. One hit. Two hit. Three hit. It's almost dead, but still alive. Um, Dog is gonna strike a uh, Cobalt Sniper. Bites for 24 damage and knocks him prone. Is that it? That's all I can do. Yes! Ooh! Amiri gets hit by flamed... Flamed in the face by the Cobalt Alchemist Master. Only takes 4 damage, though. Um... 
here. I'm just going to step forward a little bit and do a channel, do a heal, an AoE heal. There we go. Good heals for everybody, except Amiri. Regengar now has the opportunity to do a shocking grasp and then a charge on the Cobalt Booms there. <laughs> Strikes him down. 15 points of damage. Kenara is dazed or something. Oh, Harem took a critical hit. Only two points of damage, though. Harwell shoots at the Cobalt Sniper on the ground. Wait, I'm gonna shoot at the Skirmisher who is nearly dead. A solid blast. Hits and kills him. And, oh, I was gonna throw a bomb. I forgot. <laughs> well, that worked out anyway. The Cobalt Sniper shoots at Amiri, hits her for one point. I feel like I'm being overly cautious in this fight. Amiri strikes at the Alchemist Master. First attack kills it. And that leaves only... Uh, there's only two, there's two snipers left. This should be, we should make quick work of these guys. Nowhere to run. Akundio fires, kills one. Oh, is not able to shoot at the second one though. Dog bites at the cobalt sniper remaining. Oh, but misses. Harem can't really do anything. Let's just skip his turn. Regengar is gonna run up and cut him. Wait, friend. Ekin stops you. Kargat is near. Can feel it on the ground, on the grass, on those rocks. Everything is soaked with this stench. Must tell you about him. You need be prepared. This fight will not be easy. Alright, what do you want to tell me? Ekin exhales loudly, gathering his thoughts. Rock trolls have more strength, brutality, than the regular ones. Gargad is the strongest. We fought. He crushed buildings with fists. He caught people up tore them apart. During our fight, he just swept my body aside, like he would sweep aside horsefly. Annoyed, but not harmed by bite. Do not be fooled by his clumsiness. He can be very fast. Carved in my memory, flying through air towards a fence. A hit on the head. Doubled vision in the eyes. Inability to stand up. Inability to raise a bow. A taste of blood in my mouth. Helpless. Ekin looks somewhere ahead. His gaze is still and heavy. His face looks like a mask carved in stone. The same rock as the troll he tells you about. How did you know his name? The troll shouted it as a war cry. An anthem. Gargad. 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 They were yelling it when he crushed the walls of our house. When he... Killed. It was Kargad who killed your family? Ekin's face twists in a painful grimace. Hmm. Should you know the details? Um. I prefer to know everything about those I travel with. No matter how painful it is for you. He swept my defenses out of the way and crushed the wall of our house. He seized my wife, Amanda, and bit off her head, hurled her body aside. Clarissa screamed. He just stomped on her. 
though it is obviously hard for him to tell his story. You hear some relief in Ekin's voice. I'm grateful you made me tell this. Needed that. I envy them so much. Their agony is over, and all still lingers still. All right, Harem. We don't need any thoughts from the peanut gallery. All right, well, why did the troll leave you alive, do you think? Ekin shrugs. He was in a haste. The night was ending. In the light of dawn, rock trolls turn to rock they originated from. Sunlight is worst enemy. Kargad knows that. Alright, so let's sum up. What do we know about this Kargad? Kargad is a rock troll. Thus, he has greater size and strength than regular troll. Fire and acid are not deadly to him, but still can hurt him. His weakness is sunlight. He has no desire to turn stone. Ekin grunts. Huh. The dungeons give him strength. The rock itself heals his wounds. The battle will be held inside his home. Alright, well, thank you for telling me your story. I guess we will be able to defeat Kargad. Ekin nods. You lead us to battle. Thank you. This monster must not survive. So the question is, one, I was going to say, one question is, why is the combat music still going? Time to hit that blasted biter right in his ugly maw. We've learned where Kargat is, now let's have our revenge. Have we? Have we learned that? So it sort of sounds to me like I'm going to need some kind of spell to produce daylight, if that's a thing, in Pathfinder. Of course, I don't have one. Harem is probably the best bet for that, but I don't think he's got one. Shield of Dawn? Restoration? Divine Power? Searing Light? Focusing Divine Power like a ray of the sun, you project a blast of light from your open palm. You must succeed on a ranged touch attack to strike your target. A creature struck by this ray of light takes 1d8 points of divine damage per two caster levels. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. It seems like it might be worth having handy. Having available. I mean, it's probably not the same as daylight, but... It could be? Should we uh, camp here for a bit? It's probably not a good idea to camp here. I gotta camp. Let's do a quick save, just in case Kargad is right around the corner. The solid dwarven stonework has been overtaken by moss and is crumbling in spots. Hey, Harem, here's that fortress you were... you were all excited about. Oh! Oh, hell. Well, we're fighting again, then. Um... Amiri rages... charges... Twenty-six damage on the first troll hound, almost killing it in one blow. Harwell will finish off that troll hound. Forwards! Rescue! Succeed yours. 
critical sneak attack hit for 35 damage. It's not dead though. It's going to regenerate, but at least it's out of the battle. Uh, Regengar is going to do a shocking grasp and a charge on the other troll hound. Hits for 16. Almost. Well, getting it to about half health. Um, Kenara is going to do a blue flame blast on the remaining troll hound. Burn! Only 13 damage. Bummer. Uh, dog runs up to finish off the troll hound. Biting! Bite his neck! Got him! Oh, he's dead. The flame did enough so that he's dead permanently. The troll lumbers forward, strikes at Regengar, hits for 8 points of damage. Harem is going to... What? What is he going to do? Cast blindness on the troll. Hey, he succeeded. No effect. Ekin shoots the troll. Uh, a troop. Misses. <laughs> then hits. Let yourself expose. Oh, the third hit was a critical hit for 47 points of damage. That troll is down. Okay, now who's got an acid attack? It's not going to splash all over the place. I believe Regengar has a touch, a corrosive touch that we just picked up when we leveled up. That troll's dead. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage too. That's the perfect spell for fighting trolls. Uh... What, are we... Are we still in combat? We're still in combat. Who are, who are we fighting right now? I don't know who we're fighting. Oh, the other troll hound wasn't dead. I forgot. Alright, well we cleared out the entrance to this place. Let us be careful. There's a wolf. Alright, I feel like we can handle some wolves. Oh, why have I got <laughs> my my party's all in the wrong order? Let's clear out these wolves. Blood What's that? Gone! Oh, wolves and a cobalt sentinel. Dispatched handily. Oh, there's an old dwarven chest key. A tiny key from an old dwarven stronghold. Interesting. Wait, where'd the key go? I skinned everybody and the key disappeared. I had to pick it up again. And there's a log over here with some various collectible stuff. What's up here? Looks like a dead end up here. Well, looks like the only place to go is inside the fortress. I thought there might be like a cave over here leading to the... Hargad. Wait, there's a hill going up this way. What's the up? Path is clear. What is up here? Oh, we can try to get in the side. Oh, we have two potential entrances. 
Hmm. Oops. Alright, I think we should camp. So I'm going to come over here to this clearing here and try to camp. Hopefully nobody will try to kill us. Like trolls or something. I'm, I did a quick save, so... This will uh, set up our spells and stuff, too. You have the spirit of a wolf, Amiri. I feel it. <laughs> That's true. But more like a bear. Big. Scary. Anyone who stands in my way, I'll rip them to pieces. Don't rip them to pieces. Successful camping. What a peaceful place this Dwarven Fortress is. You know, this is not go ahead. quite what I was expecting it to be. They sort of made it sound like we could negotiate with these trolls from that, you know, conversation. Was this the troll that we just killed? I think that was the... <laughs> I, think, I think that was Jazzy that we just killed. <laughs> Poor Jazzy. Sorry about that, Jazzy. Uh, perhaps you should have told us that that's who you were. Oh, well. Alright, well, I'm going to stop here because I think uh, after this it's just going to be a lot of uh, fighting. I assume entering the Dwarven Fortress is going to be like a, a, a dungeon crawl with a lot of fighting. So... Why is Amiri so small? I don't remember Amiri being that small. I feel like she's shrunk. And this dog is enormous now. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Alright, that's it for now.